everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're looking into cancer's monthly guidance message for october in this message cancer we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this month we're going to see what's working in your favor where to focus your energy we'll tap into anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and where this is headed if you stay in this energy I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Cancer, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. What do my Cancerian friends need to know? Cancer. There's definitely a need here to set boundaries with a particular person in your life, Cancer. That's causing a lot of stress. That's causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of fear. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to be a close friend or a partnership. Okay. The energy surrounding you this month, Cancer, is the Three of Swords, the King of Swords. So there has been some sort of betrayal. An energy of betrayal but I feel like you're still trying to make this work with this particular person now we're gonna clarify all of this here in a minute I feel like you're feeling as if this person is coming forward and being honest but I still feel like there's something here that's being hidden okay something that this person isn't revealing let's clarify the three of swords the king of swords for cancer's energy please and thank you spirit So the three of swords in the reverse with the justice energy. This is telling me that this situation is turning out in your favor. So what do I mean by that? Especially when it involves the three of swords, right? Most likely this person is getting their karma. So you're sitting there watching this person get in return whatever they dished out to other people. Okay. Now, what's working in your favor here, Cancer, is I already feel like you're hip to this person's game, as if this has happened before in the past, or you've dealt with a similar situation, but I feel like you're withdrawing your energy and focusing on the things that make you happy. Let's clarify the Three of Cups with the Four of Pentacles for Cancer's energy. It's almost as if you knew this was going to happen you kind of maybe planned for this or already had an inkling you may yourself had options or was back and forth about that person whatever the case however this is resonating here cancer i feel like you're withdrawing and moving forward very quickly and this person may be confused by this you know, why is cancer moving on so quickly? How? How is cancer able to move on so quickly? Okay. I really feel here, cancer, you are just putting your foot down and moving forward. Okay. Taking care of yourself, focusing on your own stability. I'm not saying that it's not difficult to walk away from this person, but you know what you need to do. What's hidden here is the lesson has been learned, even though this was a painful situation, even though there is a lot of anxiety surrounding the situation, maybe there was a confrontation that you had to deal with. I feel here the lesson had been learned, okay? No more sadness, no more dark days, only happy times ahead, okay? 
I do feel like something was revealed here, Cancer. So whether you received a message, whether you've seen something on social media, this was an aha moment. This was a, an awakening. Okay. The outcome, five of pentacles, six of pentacles. So yes, there is a loss that's present, but progress. Okay. You are experiencing a loss by walking away from this person, but you're also walking away from secrecy walking away from illusions, walking away from things that are no longer serving you, okay? Tower energy, yes, so this is coming out of nowhere. Like I said, I feel like there was something, a message, maybe something that you've seen that revealed everything, okay? That showed you exactly what you needed to see to be done with the situation. Death five of wands, the devil. So you're putting an end to the toxic situation, the conflict, the challenge, the competing for somebody else's time, attention, and energy. And that's exactly where you need to be. Trusting your intuition, trusting the process is going to be important here. I know this isn't easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And I feel here, Cancer, the energy that's being channeled is you know that it's worth it to walk away from this person, okay? They've been toxic for some time. I honestly feel for most of you, this isn't the first time this has happened. So let's pull a soul truth message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you're fearing is not true? Today's soul action, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with, the, with others? Do I ask for what I want when communicating my needs? What am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Communication is key here. Cancer, I feel like this reading is all about boundaries. It's about setting boundaries with the universe, these expectations of what you will and won't accept into your life. And cutting off anything that isn't in alignment with that, which I feel here is channeling and ending with a particular person that's been difficult for some time. Trusting the process here moving forward. You can't worry about the person and the position that they're in. You can only worry about yourself and your own energy. So Cancer feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you want a personal reading, the information is linked below. You can also reach out, see me in person. I'm at the Kennewick Public Market. The information guys for that is on my website. Otherwise, thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.